uh, talk about your journey as a developer in the city. And again, uh, talk about it in the context of these kind of dual barriers that you face. Uh, it's tough for African-Americans and other people of color to be developers, successful developers, also tough for women. Um, uh, how did you get started and then get us to where you are with Develop Detroit? I actually am a bit of an unexpected developer. Um, I uh, I didn't grow up dreaming of being a real estate developer. There are a lot of people um, who have that path. Mine was um, mine was very different. I actually spent a number of years working on Wall Street and um, and came back to Detroit about ten years ago for what I thought was a temporary consulting uh, job. And um, not having been in Detroit for a while, I really fell in love with the energy here and what was going on. And um, there just were so many people who were moving here, moving back here, who were just trying to figure out, like, how do we move Detroit to a better place? And um, and I, I, I did have a finance background. I did have a, a Wall Street banking background. Um, I had a little bit of a land use background. Um, but really, I just wanted to be a part of what was going on here. And so um, I work with a group of people to launch um, what has now become uh, Develop Detroit back in 2015. And, um, you know, it's a really tough business. Uh, I, I suppose you could say being a woman doesn't make it easier. Um, I, I have to admit, I've spent most of my career in male-dominated industries. And so uh, I, I think I maybe just have a really thick skin kind of around um, the ways in which gender intersect with work. Um, but uh, whether you're a woman or a man, this is this is this business is not for the the faint of heart. <laughs> it's, not, it's definitely not. So so I, I want you to talk a little about uh, this team that you put together and, and work with. I think that's a really important uh, part of the story for everybody is the people you rely on, the people you trust, and the people you feel can help push you forward, uh, especially when you're taking a risk, like starting uh, your, your your own company. So talk a little more about how you put that team together and who who made it up. So the organization that I that I lead, Develop Detroit, we are we're actually structured as a nonprofit and we are a mission focused organization. So um, right now we have ten people um, that work here. And um, and it it is uh, it's a group of people who really really care about Detroit and really care about the work of providing quality housing um, to people regardless of their income. And so um, the folks on my team, I just I feel so just blessed to work with this group of people. Um, but they're quite frankly folks who could be doing other types of development, uh, maybe for for profit entities, more money seeking entities. Um, but uh, the, the, the mission uh, and this ideal that um, everyone deserves high quality housing um, really resonates. And so uh, it is a pretty technical business. And so the people that are on the team, um, they are really proficient with finance, they're proficient with Excel. Um, I think more importantly, um, this is uh, like our team is a group of people who don't get discouraged by um, by complications or challenges. It's really for problem solvers and people who kind of get going by thinking about like how can I overcome <laughs> this today's obstacle or today's challenge uh, in the work. 